The iCube station allows us to use the iCube scanner in three positions. To do a non-weight bearing scan, a semi-weight bearing scan, and a full weight bearing scan. But also allows us to scan a crush box and also a cast that comes from the practitioner. From non-weight bearing, we can also do semi-weight bearing scans by just deattaching the scanner and moving into the semi-weight bearing position. For the semi-weight bearing, the patient positions the foot on the scan and the practitioner can align the foot and hold the foot in position and simply click on the scan either left or right foot. The iCube scanner is going to take a 3D image of the foot and also a 2D picture of the foot to check for calluses and ulcers. So now we have the semi-weight bearing image of our patient's foot. It's clearly to see uh, the calcaneal angle and etc. From semi-weight bearing, it's very easy to move the iCube scanner to a full weight bearing position. But just putting in position, our foot model will stand on the, st the iCube stand, lay the foot in, and we can simply select to scan the left foot and the iCube scanner is getting the 3D image of the foot. And now, once the software creates the 3D image of the foot, we can evaluate and check. The doctor or the practitioner can click on the next icon to start aligning the foot to the ground and identify the first metatarsal head, the fifth metatarsal head, and the heel point that will be used at the lab to design the orthotic. So we can easily look at the foot from the back and make sure that the calcaneal angle is vertical by moving the points. We can also look at the foot from a plantar view to identify the first metatarsal head. By dragging and dropping these points, the iCube software will update that for you automatically. And you can have a plantar dorsiflex or a plantar flexed location. And then to finalize, we can select the apex of the arch or the highest point of the orthotic that the doctor can identify in the software measures in real time. Once we're happy with the alignments, we can proceed to the next step, which will be to order the type of orthotic and the shoe sizing and etc. On the left hand side, we have all the options that we can select. For example, the shoe grading, let's say US men's number nine, the activity level, if it's going to be one, two, three, or four, so rigid, semi-flexible, and flexible. The problems that the, the, the patients may have, such as heel pain, forefoot pain, plantar fasciitis, and etc. The patient's weight, and the shoe style, depending on what shoe that manufacturer that we work with. Then we can proceed to the next step, which will be the orthotic type, such as polypro, graphite, and as you can see here, preloaded in the software, we have a quite few different orthotic types that are customizable as well. We're going to select the posting that we want, so the rear foot posting can be controlled independently from the forefoot posting. For example, we can add intrinsic varus and add millimeters or degrees, and we can also add a valgus, extrinsic posting, on the rear foot posting as well. The corrections, if we're going to select an arch fill or a plantar facial groove, a Kirby skive, can all be selected by the doctor before the scan is sent to the lab. Additions, such as heel cushion, hole in heel, like a heel spur and etc. The top cover that we would like, a full top cover or three quarters and the material together with its thickness. The delivery date, when this orthotic can be delivered, and more important notes that we'd like to enter. So the next step of the process, by using Ortho Manager, uh, the practitioner or the doctor uh, can send all this information to the lab, such as the 3D shape of the patient's foot, together with the picture and the prescription. So no longer we have to mail crush box or casts, everything is sent by email and the lab can automatically start manufacturing the orthotic. If you would like to find more information about our healthcare products, please visit www.delcan-healthcare.com